Students from different secondary schools showcase their level of creativity when it comes to incorporating mobile phone technology to robotics. The robotic kit display was presented before a panel of judges and fellow students. Some of the notable innovations include the NEMA C7H truck designed by Macquarie College students. It uses an electromagnet to collect garbage cans and replace them with empty ones on the side of the road. The NXT uses a ultrasonic sensor and a light sensor. The ultrasonic sensor is to prevent it from collision and uh, detection of obstacles so it will stop. Other innovations include the Antari Hegai, a cooking system presented by Antari School. It is automated and remote controlled to protect people from getting burns, while King's College Budo created a prototype of a tractor that automatically plants seeds. A heap is being created. A heap is being created. The Mary Hill High School girls created a self-monitored prototype car with an automatic seat belt and other systems that include an overspeeding informer that sends signals on the mobile phone of the car owner. People are the greatest resource that the world has. So we made it in such a way that it should be able to reduce the rate of car accident or even to reduce the effect. Other innovations displayed include an environmentally friendly solar hybrid powered road marker created by Dr. Obote Secondary, the automobile seed sprayer by Lira Town College, and a protective ballot system that prevents rigging by the students of Mount St. Mary's Namagunga. The project we have here right now is the Hydra 256, a proudly Ugandan project. It is an artificially intelligent water purification storage and pumping system. On top of that, it generates power for the community. It is targeted at communities which have water-related issues. It can prevent floods by taking up water for storage and purification, and it can also store water. The brains behind the science and technology innovations challenge believe that a lot can be borrowed from these young scientists, something the education minister concurs with. Now, those are certainly candidates for inclusion into the other project that I'm overseeing, which is the Kira electric vehicle. Once they finish their S6, we intend to bring them on as, you know, as interns. The Science and Technology Innovations Challenge is run under the iLabs at Mac project of Macquarie University with the help of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It aims at nurturing young scientists for development. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Weekend Edition.